can't go. I'm going. You'll go together. No, no, you see, someone's got to let Builder in. Yes, you can. No, 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 no. I won't be here, you see. I won't be here. Yes, you will, Mum. I don't want to let him in. Well, neither do I. Yes, but I order you to. Oh, scared. Oh, please. But why did you give him the job if you don't like because him? He's very cheap. And tatty, especially his jokes. No, I told him he's got to behave if he works here. And you don't want any of this chat and endless innuendos. Oh, and compliments, and, and neither do I. I mean, I've told him that very firmly. Only oh, think that'll do it, do you? Hannah, all you've got to do is say good morning and give him the key. Yes, and he'll say, is this the key to your heart? No, I want to thump him. No, I don't want to start the day in a bad mood. Now move! Yes, until you agree. Look, look, look. We all know he preferred to see you rather than me. Well, I don't care what he wants. Don't care, it was made to care. <laughs> what? You, 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 what? You told me to be more positive. Name one positive thing about him. Well, well, if you did get it together, you'd never be short of shelves. Oh, look. <laughs> ah, morning. Hi. Have you got an elastic band? No, I just have naturally taut skin. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Have you got something a bit stronger? Ooh. What do you want it for? It's uh, for personal use. Going to hang yourself? <laughs> I just thought I'd um, get my hair out of the way. So you thought you'd put it in a ponytail? Yeah. They're very popular. Yes, with men who wear shoes without socks. <laughs> Rubbish. Loads of people in the college wear them. Students who can't afford a haircut. I don't know anyone your age who's got a ponytail. I'd like to keep it that way. Well, I think it will suit me. OK? Fine. Paul? Do you remember when I suddenly started wearing denim miniskirts? And you laughed quite a lot. <laughs> yes, well, they were a bit uh, young for you. Exactly. But then I was having a crisis about getting older. I know. And getting older doesn't just happen to women, you know. Ah, maybe not, but uh, getting older doesn't affect men in the same way. No. <laughs> now, men don't need to worry so much about the way they look. Ah, like you're not. It's a well-known fact. What is? Men get sexier as they get older. Oh, really? Yeah, you often see an older man out with a younger woman. That's because women their own age wouldn't be seen dead with a man in pigtails. <laughs> you think I'm going through a male menopause? Yes. Well, I'm not. I just want to have my hair in a ponytail. OK? Fine. Fancy a drink later on, by the way. Not unless you wear a hat. <laughs> Morning. You're late. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. That's why I bought these. Huh? You think a bunch of daisies? No, they're gerberas. That you probably stole from someone's garden. Actually, I've got them from that very exclusive little bloke down by the traffic lights. He's going to make up for me being late for a seminar. Oh, you look tricky this morning. Oh, and you love the way my eyes sparkle when I get angry. Oh, you've heard that before, have you? Well, I ain't. Look, just get in here and get started. At all? Now, who's coming on strong, eh? Mum said you were going to behave. I am, I am. Oh, that's nice perfume. Will you stop it? Look, I'm sorry, I was brought up to pay women compliments, all right? Doesn't mean I want to entice you behind a tarpaulin. Good, because I'd rather eat maggots. <laughs> that's just a bill to see all sorts, first thing. Curlers, tatty dressing gowns, all that stuff. But you prefer your women to open the door in a French maid's outfit, do you? Nah, I never needed fantasy myself. Is this the key to your heart? I think they already know where that is. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> Sorry, mate, Harry. Hannah, you look tense. Take a moment to de stress. Breathe in and out. Join in when you feel ready. 
were just discussing the interaction between wordplay and body language. Emily here was just making... Oh, I've got the perfect example of that. We've got this build around to fix the flat, you know, since the tree fell on it. I had to let him in this morning because Mum wouldn't. Well, you'd think he'd slept through the women's movement, you know? I mean, he still treats women like, oh, I don't know, everything you say, he twists into an innuendo or a compliment or... Oh, oh yes, and talking of body language. Do you know, this morning he turned up in full leather biker's gear with a bunch of flowers because he was late. I mean, please. <laughs> you know, and then he started to peel off his jacket and there were all these zips and he had this really tight, tight T-shirt on underneath, you know, and there was this very, very powerful smell of warm leather and bike oil, and I went... <laughs> what? What? <laughs> so if I could have your essays in by Thursday, that'd be great. Uh, Emily, uh, if you get into trouble with it, why not give me a call? Hannah, a word, please. See you later, Emily. Everything all right? Yeah. Um, look, sorry about being a bit thingy earlier. That's OK. Why do you think you were a bit thingy earlier? Please don't make me analyse it. That's exactly what I'm asking you to do. I told you, this stupid builder was late and it wound me up, that's all. Uh, the stupid builder? Yes. You've encountered stupid men before. What makes you so mad about this one in particular? Hannah? Are you sure you're being honest about your feelings? Isn't it that while your intellect resents his manner, your emotional response is quite different? For goodness sake. I've only seen him a couple of times, and both times he's made me cross. Can't wait till this job's over, then I never have to see him again. Hooray. <laughs> what? All right, all right, I can't stop thinking about him. Satisfied? Thank you. So what do I do? Don't fight it. Try being... Gosh, uh, nice. Well, that doesn't sound like a cautious counsellor's advice. It isn't, I'm afraid. But then sometimes counsellors don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> Most of the time, in fact. Look, there's you on the beach at Brighton, eating seaweed with not a stitch on. Oh, yeah, I was celebrating the end of my A-levels. <laughs> and what are you doing here? Well, I was looking for the insurance policy and then I started going through my old drawers, you know what I mean? And the memories just came flooding back. Look, that's me water skiing in Greece. Mum, you're topless! Yes, I know. My, my bikini top pinged off and blinded the boat skipper. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, um, well, I had a couple of hours off or so, you know, to study. Oh. You look nice. Do I? Very nice. I knew you were just pretending that you didn't like him. Did you? Mm, I expect he spotted it as well with his training. Oh, hey. <coughs> um, where's the builder, by the way? Oh, uh, he's on his lunch hour. Oh. <sighs> Hannah. Such a mess. Such a terrible mess. Still, I suppose you'll be moving in with Emily soon. Yeah, but well, that'll be great for you. Will it? Yeah. Having a place all to yourself again. Can't wait. With the extra room? Oh, extra room's brilliant. You've always wanted a studio. I have, always, absolutely always. And now you're actually going to have one. Hannah. I'm just looking. <laughs> when the tree crashed through the flat, it changed things. Well, it certainly changed the view. <laughs> Don't move out just yet, eh? All right. I'll stay as long as you want me here. No, you won't. You'll stay much longer than that. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way to get back. Are you coming? Um, not yet. Oh, all right. I'll see you later, then. By the way, where did these flowers come from? Oh, the builder bought them. Oh, yes. Because he was late, OK? Mm, if you say so. <laughs> stupid, stupid, stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid! You called? <laughs> You're here. Sounds like you want to witch someone, and it's probably me, isn't it? Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, very clever. You're going to poison me, eh? <laughs> well, I won't swallow, see? Oh. Um, so, how 
How's it going? Well, we need to make the trenches for the footings, which ain't easy because the uneven ground. So you have to keep an eye on the spirit level and all that. Oops. Cheers. I'm sure you're fascinated with all that. Um, have you always been a builder? No, first I was a child. <laughs> <laughs> you decided not to fight me? Sugar? You decided not to fight me, sugar? <laughs> Yeah, two spoons, cheers. You're laughing at my jokes. Well, you've got to work here. Might as well get on. Ah, oh, you rubbled me, ain't you? I'm just basically a very shy person. No, you're not. No, I'm not. Still, I'm glad we're getting on. Now i just got to work on your mother. Ah, oh, now, she was standing up for you this morning. Oh, yeah? Yeah. She, uh, told me to be nice to you when I let you in. Really? Yeah, but she'll come round. <laughs> well, I suppose you know her better than anyone else, then. Yes, I do, and I still choose to live with her. <laughs> Mind you, I don't suppose you're ever here in the evenings, are you? Someone wanting to take you out all the time, yeah? Um, well, actually, no, um, I've been quite busy with this course, you know, until now. Yeah. Well, with your training, you're the best person to ask. About what? Relationships. No relationships. What do you want to know? Well, I want to know what sort of reaction I'm likely to get if I asked uh, a certain question. Oh, well. Depends what the question is and who you're asking. <laughs> I'm thinking of asking your mother out, what do you reckon? <laughs> Bad idea. Sorry, sorry I said it, all right? Uh, I shouldn't have bought her those flowers, neither, should I? I'll, 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 I'll... Jules. Your hair looks... Your hair really does look nice. What are you doing here? Well, I just wanted to tell you that it's working. It? Yeah, well, you know you gave me that book. Well, I'm in touch with my feelings now, and, um, so that's all right, isn't it? Smash it. <laughs> so, anyway, um, I feel like I can do things now because I'm me. So, anyway, this is for you. It's not a love letter, is it? No, do you want one? No, I don't. <laughs> Please come and help me celebrate yeah. soon after tea time. Don't be late. Right. Mr. Bunny and Mr. Bear are coming too, <laughs> the, so the you'll be there. Are you having a party? Yeah, because I'm in touch with my feelings, and uh, the fumigators have gone as well, and uh, I just I feel like I'm ready to entertain. But if you get more than three people in your flat, the walls burst. That's all right. I don't know more than three people. <laughs> so you walk up, aren't you? I'm going to do bread and pate. Pate? Yeah, but as well, if you like it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right. Oh, look. and you were there. Jules, we've just woken up in the same bed together. I know. Wasn't it great? <laughs> Wasn't it not great? W waking up in the same bed. Why did we wake up in the same bed? Because we slept together. Did we? Well, I think so. We were asleep before we woke up. I mean, sleep together. Right, you mean, did we... Yeah, um... I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, no, I, it's difficult, you know. A lot of this is how I wanted it to be, how I, I dreamed it would be, and how you know, maybe, maybe, it was. Yeah, I think we did. What? Well, I don't know. Don't you remember? Oh, right, look, um, let's think back. Right, it was late. Yeah. We'd, um, we'd all had a few drinks. Yeah. And then... We woke up. Ah! Answer the door! I can't! Why not? You've got my skin. Hi, <laughs> 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 you. Great party. Have you seen Hannah? Yeah, we just... Yeah, well, 
washing. I'm doing the washing up. Just came round to help. Gosh, you've had to go up quickly. Yeah, yeah, I did, yeah. <laughs> Parties make you do daft things, don't they? What do you mean? Well, I mean, I'd never normally cycle to Brighton just to see the sunrise, would I? But it seemed like a great idea last night. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little bit rude, leaving while the party was still going on. Did I miss anything? Well, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. That came out of a wine box. There is something wrong, isn't there? I mean, you're walking funny as well. As well as what? As well as the hairdo. I mean, why are you walking like that? Sort of strutty, like a bouncer. I was just walking my normal walk. No, you weren't. Normally, you appear quietly without squeaking. I mean, why are you walking as if you want to get noticed? Clenching your buttocks. Oh, for goodness sake, will you stop going on? What's up? As one of your students asked if you were in the war with Churchill again. <laughs> Careful. Get stuck behind your collar. I remember that with my plaits. It's very uncool. Right. That's it. I'm going to go and get myself a proper drink. A whiskey. Do you want it? No, no, no. Listen, I'm sorry. Come on, sit down. Carefully. <laughs> it's because of the builder, isn't it? Because I said he was well built and younger than It's you. nothing to do with the builder. Well, there's something. What is it? Okay. I had a letter from Chantal. Your daughter. Is she all right? She's fine. But she's very fine. She's pregnant. What? She's having a baby, okay? Perfectly natural occurrence. Lots of women have them. I'm going to the bar. Your daughter? Yes. He's pregnant. Yes. That makes you... Yes. A gun. <laughs> Paul! Congratulations. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> when he showed how fantasy and intellectual activity can be Harry. used... Harry, you know we had that discussion about hypnotherapy and how you can sometimes recall painful events through hypnosis. Yeah, you're having trouble with your essay? No, but could you do it on me? I've got 20 minutes before my next lecture. <laughs> Hannah, it's not a party trick. Yeah, I know that, but can you? Why, have you got something in your past life you need to deal with? I certainly have. Fine, how far back do you want to go? Last night. <laughs> Last night? Yep. So where do we start? Hannah, sit up. OK, now tell me what all this is about. Last night, I went to a party, and this morning, I woke up next to someone, and I don't remember what happened. Hannah, this is not what therapy is for. This is what aspirin and a brisk walk is for. <laughs> what do you mean? Hypnotherapy is not a hangover cure. But I'm desperate. I need to know, Harry. Is this Mark we're talking about? Oh. Did you throw yourself at him and it all got out of hand? Oh, yeah, I threw myself at him, all right, but he told me he fancies my mother. <laughs> Well, she's a very attractive woman. Yes, so everyone keeps telling me. No, it was nothing to do with him. He wasn't even at the party. So this is another man? Well, it wasn't a man. It was Jules. <laughs> Perhaps you'd like to discuss that last statement. Well, Jules is just sort of there. He's always telling me he loves me, but he is my friend, and there is no way. And he doesn't remember. All I know is that we woke up side by side and he was smiling at me. <laughs> Mind you, then he always is. Hannah, have you thought that perhaps you're trying to suppress your subconscious? Meaning? Meaning that you say you don't remember sleeping with Jules. I don't. Are you sure? Maybe I didn't. You see, the mind can often protect you from confronting pain with temporary amnesia. Yeah, I know all that. If mothers remembered every moment of childbirth, they'd never have more than one baby, so... So, let me put it to you that having been rejected by Mark and feeling very upset, you went to the party and to try and build up your self-confidence, you slept with someone who you knew adored you. A common scenario. <laughs> now, in the cold light of day, you're so ashamed by your motives that you're trying to bury the memory. Lie down. Oh, oh, stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh. 
Mom. Guess what? Paul's going to be a grandfather. Well, he'd started wearing his hair in a ponytail, so I knew something was up. Do you know what? I think he's very threatened by it. Hello? Sorry, what? Paul, being a grandfather. And you wouldn't be? Me? If you were going to be a grandmother, you wouldn't be threatened. Is that what you're saying? If you told me you were pregnant, I'd be thrilled. Why should I be pregnant? I'm not saying you are. <laughs> I'm saying if you were. Well, I'm not. All right. What's the matter with you? Well, it's just... Jules. Yes, it makes me feel like that sometimes. <laughs> What's he done now? Hi. Hi, Caroline. Come in and cheer Hannah up. Why? What's the matter? Well, she's just been telling me that... I've been having a bad day, that's all. Oh, well, I've got something that'll make you feel better. Oh, yeah, what? Pigeon repellent. Ooh, straight <laughs> up or on the rocks. <laughs> no, you know the pigeons keep wanting to come in and sit next to Jules in this flat. Well, this is supposed to put them off. And I've got some um, Battenberg. <laughs> so you come and see Jules with me? No, I'm not. <coughs> Why not? Because I don't feel like it. All right. OK, that's cool. <laughs> I just thought you might after last night. <laughs> what about last night? At the party. I thought you might want to thank him for everything. No, I don't want to thank him for anything, OK? <laughs> so you don't want to come down the pub, then? No, I don't. I'll come. Shut up, Mum. Why? <laughs> because I'm... I'm tired. Tired? Yes, I haven't been sleeping very well lately. Oh, well, why don't you do what you did with Jules at the party? <laughs> what? <laughs> Jules couldn't get the hang of it at all till you did it with him. <laughs> what did I do with him? I was so jealous, you two lying down together. Close your eyes, you said, and let your body go to sleep bit by bit. Go to sleep, big toe. Go to sleep, little toe. Go to sleep, toes in between. Oh, go to sleep, upper arms, wake up thinner. Go to sleep, ankle. So, did it work? Did you manage to empty your mind at all? What are these for? Thanks. For the memory. <laughs> Oh, they're lovely, yeah. The builder bought them. For Mum. <laughs> Don't miss an exclusive look behind the scenes of animal conservation tonight as we pay a visit to the zoo at nine. Next on ITV3, there's a distinct lack of harmony when Charlie and Joanna try to jointly manage Al's band. The upper hand is on the way. The People's Friend sponsors storytelling on ITV3 Afternoons. I did some really bad ones. She murdered two policemen here in our house. Anybody could have ended up doing what I did that day. Mm. It's doing what she did to us, taking it out on someone she cares about. Don't we believe in redemption anymore? Unforgiven, Tuesday at 10 on ITV3 or watch now on ITV Player. A murder inquiry centres on a strange and mysterious house in Heartbeat in half an hour. Before that on ITV3, when it comes to managing Al's band, who will get the upper hand? They say the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. I was stuffed. I can barely boil an egg. When Gareth invited me over to dinner, I was delighted. A man that cooked. The People's Friend sponsors storytelling on ITV3 Afternoons. Hello. Hi. 
What gives, man? Uh, not much. Uh, well, I had to pay 90p for a lettuce. Can you believe that? <laughs> Joe! Hey, hello! All right. What? Oh, hello, Al. How's it going? OK. Yeah, uh, friends of yours? Yeah. They go to Al's beauty school. <laughs> oh, come on, Al. I'll tell Dad your news. Well, those guys in there and me, we formed a band. And I'm the lead singer. Really? What kind of music? Well, that's sort of springsteen -y, hard kicking monster beat, power rock. <laughs> My favourite. That and Petula Clark. Yeah. You can already see our first album cover. Me hitchhiking under a lonely flyover. And the title, Suburban Loser. <laughs>